Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this question. Next question of DM here. This question says that some environmentalist tired of waiting of green economics to catch up with the society at large. Society at large have adopted their own strategies for tipping the financial calculation in favor of the land. In the forest surrounding uh, Vancouver, where trees are being felled for paper to print philosophy books, uh, well, maybe one or two, but it's is worth it. Groups have used min- metal spikes hidden in the trees to prevent the chainsaws from operating safely. Okay, pushing up the price of harvesting the trees in Phoenix, Arizona, where mountain nature reserves have been in, uh, encroached on by new houses. Hooded uh, vigilantes have burned down the new residences. The arsonist, according to the local paper, pray before they burn down a house that no uh, no one will get hurt. Thinking primarily of the firefighters, the new houses are burned while it's still empty. We don't pray for a uh, pray for ourselves not to get caught. That's God's uh, that's God's will. One is quoted as saying, as per the activists, uh, all aforementioned activities uh, activities seem clearly very principled, but is it ethical? Now you got to uh, actually uh, you see your um, the views give your view here. Okay, so look at look, look, there are five options here. Okay, like option A, option B, option C, D, and E. Let's analyze all, all the options one by one. The first option says that yes, arsonists are right. So basically, what arsonists are doing here? Okay, uh, if you read here, the arsonists are going to the local paper, pray before they burn down a house that no one will get hurt, right? Na? So the it the it's asking that yes, arsonists are right. What is the view view on it? So actually, this option one will be incorrect, right? Because uh, burning down new residences cannot be termed as right under any circumstance uh, circumstances okay so option a is completely wrong okay now what option uh, what option uh, b says that no they have no justification for damaging other uh, other people property right so obviously uh, this is as per the law of land that in all the countries of the world it is unethical to damage other pro- other other uh, p- p- persons property correct so option b is right if i read in the first time i can't eliminate it so let's put a take here Okay, option C is no, as it is not taken up in the peaceful manner. Okay, so option uh, option three is basically incorrect because it is a question of ethics here. Okay, and the question of ethics is involved here, uh, not of not of any means actually. So it it will be peaceful or aggressive. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It's a it's the question of ethics and actually it will be again wrong. Okay, so even it is peaceful or or it is aggressive. I think it will be completely wrong because that's the that's the that's not the that's not the manner he is involved here. Okay, it is actually uh, the question is here for asking for ethics. Is it ethical? It is not at all ethical. So option C would be wrong. Option D is no, as the activities are not carried out in a legal manner. Okay, so option four basically option meaning of option D here is uh, the burning of residences. Uh, if it was done in a legal manner it would have been right but no right you can't justify burning of residences no so option d is also wrong option e is stop thinking about ethics altogether as ethical issues are difficult to resolve okay so basically option 5 uh, the whole passage is about the ethics here okay so the whole passage about the ethics and the actions taken by the activists okay are in the interests of ethical prop- uh, propriety okay So basically, uh, I can't stop thinking about this is altogether. That completely wrong actually. Okay. So again, option E is also wrong. So only option B got us in take the option B is the answer. Okay. That's how you eliminate all the options and you analyze all the options and you mark your correct answer. Even if you are confused, just try to uh, compare. Ah, uh, analyze each and every option. Okay. So let's look at the next question here. Now. The question is, Mr. Pony, Dr. Pony, uh, worried about the test results of his patient, Miss Benita. Miss Benita was an old, rich widow with no dependents. The results indicate that Miss Benita has the potential, potentially fatal lymphomeni. Uh, what is this? okay? What is this disease actually? That's some bad disease for sure. So, lamb is uh, rare and difficult to diagnose. People with lamb uh, often need oxygen and lung transplants as the disease continues its course. according to the test results miss benita might have got it ha ah, okay so dr punit explained this situation to miss benita carefully 
without naming the disease he explained that the disease was progressive and would need uh, treatment using drugs which were still at the experimental stage even then the chance of success was not too bright if the treatment was unsuccessful then they would have to get ready for a lung transplant that lung transplant itself was a risky course because of a uh, treatment right even if successful she would require constant medical support and treatment miss benita looked blank she asked dr ponis for advice about a course of action he nods gravely i am afraid miss benita i think there is only one course we can take okay so what should dr ponis advise look at option a option b option c d and e option a is tell miss benita the details of disease right so tell miss benita the details of disease not actually not completely wrong it's okay they could tell about the details of disease here that's not completely wrong right so i cannot uh, put a cross here i'll just put a like question mark and tick and we'll check it later okay option b is conduct another test to confirm diagnosis that looks correct actually for now why because uh, it says this passage says that miss benita might have got it so before getting into such deep treatment like lung transplant and all and again it is risky okay it's life risky it involves a uh, lung transplant okay so completely you have to be sure it involves a, a kind of a very risky pro, uh, that's a procedure actually okay so it is risk to life also lung transplant is a very big thing okay so all this without double confirming they shouldn't go ahead right it says that miss benita might have got it might have so not sure that basically means that he should conduct another test to confirm diagnosis to so be looks fine for now let's let's see here leave the matter anyway the outcome cannot be changed right so obviously you it can you cannot leave it anything right you have to cure na it's a disease right d is treat miss benita without telling her about it is it cannot be done because it involves a very uh, kind of uh, a long procedure and uh, kind of a very deep treatment so it is not possible e is proposed that miss benita go ahead with the experimental drugs okay so again the best option would be here uh, option b actually hai na so option even if b versus e so b should be the most correct one because before going on drugs and before thinking too much about it let's reconfirm it okay is it is or not it that is existed or not okay so b is the correct answer here a kind of a tricky question i know many many options many people will not mark option b here okay but b is the answer okay